All right, we are at time for my favorite, my favorite segment. Always, um, we're at the fake news segment um, where we just everything you hear is designed for entertainment purposes uh, and should be taken as such. Um, all right, without further ado, Jay's from the couch proudly presents fake Blue Jays news. Karen, over to you. Blue Jays manager John Snyder made the news recently while he was out for lunch with his wife. Another diner in the establishment started to choke. Fortunately for this lady, Schneider was familiar with the uh, Heimlich move from uh, years past, and he was able to successfully perform that move on the lady and stop her from choking. Blue Jays fans everywhere are hopeful that this is a good sign for the upcoming season, since, as we all know, Schneider was unfortunately unable to stop his own team from choking back on October the 8th and blowing an 8-1 to lead. <laughs> oh. <coughs> yep. well, I wish I could see your face right now. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, <laughs> I, I've been waiting for that all day. Folks, we, we, we saw a little glimpse of this behind the scenes. I've been waiting for this all day. That was brilliant, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve, over to you. Thank you, Sean. Uh, in an interview with friend of the show, Shai Davidi, for Sportsnet, Steph Ace Al- Alec Manoa once again thrilled Blue Jay fans because he talked about not being on a mission to win the Cy Young, but, I quote, on a mission to win the World Series. Now, when asked for a comment, Jay's general manager, Ross Atkins, told Jason from the couch that while he admires his commitment and being on a mission to win a World Series, the team has no plans to trade him until the July 31st trade deadline. To paraphrase, boy, that that obviously bombed really bad with Blue Jay fans <laughs> across the nation. Um, so now to paraphrase the late, great Desi Arnaz, Ross Atkins has a lot of explaining to do. Because he basically has created an international incident. For those of you that are, did not know, U.S. Navy fighters had to shoot down two unidentified flying objects, one over Lake Ontario, one off of the coast of Dunedin in, in the, on the Florida's Gulf Coast. And it wasn't a spy balloon. It turns out it was a balloon that the front office has been using to transport their trade and free agent offers to available players and teams. <laughs> now, Ross Atkins was not available for comment, but team president Mark Shapiro did meet briefly uh, with reporters right before we went live. And he said that um, he didn't really have a lot of information uh, to release at this time, but hopefully now Blue Jay fans understand why it takes so long for Ross to complete a trade, especially during the season. Now, the U.S. Pentagon has yet to say whether they're going to take actions or seek sanctions you know, against the Blue Jays and Rogers communications. But apparently, uh, MLB Commissioner Wright said Manfred has no problems with what went on. Uh, when he was addressing reporters about the issue, he, you know, he said, look, I understand why uh, – Major League Baseball players of Canadian descent might be a little bit nervous, a little bit worried about this. But since there hasn't been a Major League team in Canada since Montreal Expos left after the 1994 season, I don't see any reason for Major League Baseball to take any actions. Over to you, Sean. (laughs) Oh, Rob. Oh, man. Anyway. All right, continuing with fake Blue Jays news. In order for some key Blue Jays to have bounce back seasons, they each have to focus on a variety of things. For example, Vladdy is looking to have a season more like his 2021 than his still pretty good 2022. Apparently, the young star was pushing too hard, chasing numbers. So management has put roadblocks in place to combat this. From now on, there will be no more numbers anywhere Vlad can see. Uniforms will now feature animal silhouettes. The scoreboard will simply show happy or sad emojis to indicate who's winning. The video board will no longer show stats. Instead, it will simply show Garrett Cole's laughing face, which should provide all the motivation Vladdy needs. <laughs> the Blue Jays are currently, and uh, they the, the, let me let me start that again. I just pictured Garrett Cole's face. Sorry. All right, <clears throat> the Blue Jays. 
<laughs> currently have the sixth highest payroll for 2023 at 206 million dollars. The top spenders list looks like a playoff bracket as teams continue to show that spending money can actually be a successful strategy. Toronto being so high on this list is something many fans would not have believed possible a few years ago. That group of fans have now formed a support group called Dumb Takes That Can't Even Be Shouted Into the Void Anymore. <laughs> DTCEBSIVA has a growing membership as the Rogers <laughs> as the Rogers is cheap crowd are, are soon to be joining them, as well as the home run jacket needs to go crowd. <clears throat> oh, and the trade Beau Pichette folks. It's a fast-growing support group. Look for your DTCEBSIVA shirts coming soon to a store near you. <laughs> 